Oh, we started. Okay, let me, let me put this away. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's a new week and on today's video, like I promised in the first video on this series, because this is going to be a series on the channel. If you did not see the first video, the link is up here or here, I don't know, but you, you're just definitely going to see the link somewhere. So you have to go back and watch the video. So today I'm going to be telling you how to plan a wedding on a budget. A lot of you know that I just got married. <laughs> I just got married and I'm looking so <laughs> let's forget about all of that. Okay, so I was able to plan my wedding on a budget. And like you know, things are really expensive, guys. So we are going to learn how to plan a wedding on a budget. If this is what you definitely would love this, keep watching. Welcome back, guys. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps us stay visible. When you give this video a thumbs up, it's going to help the other people see the video. And definitely, you enjoy my content. So just give it a, th a thumbs up. It doesn't take anything from you. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be going through the things we did to be able to have our wedding on a budget. First of all, I'm going to the fact that we didn't want a flamboyant wedding. Now, for those that want a big wedding and can afford a big wedding please this content is not for you but if you have plans to get married and you cannot afford all the big things that you think that you would want to do then this is for you all right so one thing that helped us plan our wedding on a budget was having a destination wedding okay if my husband um, spent all his life in lagos and I spent almost all part of my life because I, I've been in different places at different times, but most part of my life was spent in Port Harcourt. If I had gotten married in or had a wedding in Port Harcourt or we had a wedding in Lagos, we would have, without even stressing it, had up to like 200 guests. Yes, because this is definitely where we grew up from. Even when you don't invite the people, people will feel obligated to attend the wedding and they, they might feel the need, okay. I know how I know him and want to attend the wedding. So one thing that helped us cut on budget was having a destination wedding. So good, good thing my in-laws, they didn't want to travel so far. So we decided that, okay, good, let's have a destination wedding. So our wedding was in Edo State, Nigeria. So one, one of the, and funny enough, most people, were, they, even though we moved the wedding to Edo State, we still have a lot of people that came from Port Harcourt and from Lagos that attended the wedding. So imagine if this wedding was to be in any of these two states, then we'd have about more than 300 guests. So having a destination wedding is one way to cut down on your budget. Another thing we did that helped us walk around our budget was the invitation. Now I know a lot of you would want to make hard copy invitation, paper invitation. Please don't waste paper. Don't waste paper. So we didn't even have to contract someone to design the invitation. I think my husband went on Canva and he was able to do the invitation and everything. And immediately for him, he just sent the invitation to all his contact list. For me, I'm very careful. So I went through everybody that I want I wanted to invite and I sent them the invitation. And when we did, the ones that saw that it was an adult state, they were like, okay, happy married life, oh, we cannot make it though. <laughs> and we were just smiling. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that we did to help us work on a budget was no. <laughs> okay, my husband just said it. We didn't buy designer dresses. As much as our dresses looked really beautiful, like you guys saw in our pictures and everything, it wasn't, it wasn't done by any big celebrity designer or anything. We worked with people that we could afford. Now, one thing about us is we can't afford you. We don't do more than we can or try to prove any point. So we work with people that we could afford. And uh, for the pre-wedding, I think um, maybe you, you saw some of the inspiration online, right? So um, we saw some inspiration online and decided to get outfits that fits it. Another um, person that helped us with uh, the outfit is uh, my sister she's very much into fashion i has makeover and yes i really want to thank her very much because she saw that we wanted a budget wedding and she also assisted us in making that come true so um that's all for our outfit we didn't get designers outfit every outfit was made by nigerian um tailors and um, fashion designers that we could afford and we know that gave us quality all right, um, I think one of the most expensive thing we did in our wedding was our clothes because 
uh, we wanted it to be great as much as yes we didn't want to um, use a design a, a de use designers clothes and all of that we were sure that we wanted them to look really good now another thing again that helped us cut on our budget is photography the photography we used um, um, for the pre-wedding we had to do a studio sh uh, shoot because outdoor shoots are very expensive and what we really needed was a picture so yes uh, deciding to use a studio shoot actually helped us cut down on the expenses although yeah we're looking at cutting down on the expenses we also wanted top notch best class so we used a photographer that is affordable but but gives value so that's another place that we cut down on the budget now this one i'm going to give as a plus i did it personally and i think it really helped us now we were planning for the wedding we knew the wedding was going to be in april and very much we knew that at least um because i had to even convince my husband that i should resume working second week of april he actually wanted me to stay and rest all through the month of april so i knew i wasn't going to the both of us weren't, weren't going to work for two weeks so what we did was what i did was i stocked up the house in march before we traveled for the wedding so this is like a bonus because most people in the month of their wedding some don't work at all and i know it's called um maybe what do you call that again okay he has forgotten the term okay but i i know it's marriage leave or something like that so most people don't work for like a month so what our advice is that you suck up the house the month before suck up enough of things that would carry you guys for that month before you are able to start working so that's what i did that also saved us after the wedding okay another thing we um did was being firm we had a budget and we knew the things that were important we were firm and that meant that even when people call maybe tell us okay let us buy this and buy that we don't have yes we don't have the fact that we you are having a party doesn't mean i know it's very difficult especially in africa but you could try it you could try it. it it works really well so one thing we did was being firm with our budget knowing the important things and sticking to them that's one thing we did okay another thing we did was um looking at our transportation now for me i like to be comfortable as much as i want to work through the budget and everything i also love to be comfortable so at first i was looking at um, getting or hiring a cab that's going to take us to a those state and bring us back Stay with us all through the process and everything um, but my husband was against it because he felt like that's going to be a whole lot of money and that's actually true it was a whole lot of money so um we had to use the public transport going and public transport coming so that's one way we were able to cut down on our budget as well okay now um the last but not the least was uh, the decoration and cake now we were we weren't the one that gave this out it was my mom but she was very particular about the amount that she would be able uh she, she she's going to spend and so she did not look for any you know high price designer and all of that so we had to we only decorated the place where the couple will stay and for the others we just had to set tents for them to stay in so that's another way we were able to cut down on our budget okay so that's um it all on budget 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 okay so th this is how i was able to plan my wedding on a budget now there are things that are actually not necessary and as much as you can like i said this video is for those that want to get married but they think that it's actually very yes it's expensive but it's not very 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 expensive so this um these are the things that we did to help us plan our wedding on a budget and i believe that if you not exactly because every situation is different but if you look at it critically and try to pick a thing or two you can also plan your wedding on a budget thank you so much for watching do not forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the subscribe button give your, show your girl some love come on show your girl some love and until then i'll see you in the next video bye